Jack here, and in this box, I've got the Zdinelli sleeping bag. This is a very warm, light, and easy to carry sleeping bag. We're gonna be opening it up, showing you what it looks like, how it works, how it feels, and how you'll be in good hands with this sleeping bag. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me for free for this video, but as always, that won't change anything that I say. The first thing you get in the box is the manual. There's some instructions on here, specifically what temperatures this bag is rated for. So if you open up the manual, it does say that the comfort range for this sleeping bag is about 41 degrees down to about 30 degrees. So under 30 degrees from 30 to five degrees is what they call the limit range. And this is the temperature range where you're gonna start feeling a little bit chilly but maybe not shiver. Below that, you're at risk, so you're gonna want a lower rated sleeping bag for something really cold. But for the spring, for the fall, I think this is a really perfect sleeping bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. When you get it in the box, it comes wrapped in this plastic. So here's the plastic wrap here, and there's some tape wrapped around it, so we're gonna undo the tape. And one of the best features of this Stinelli sleeping bag is it's made of down feathers, real down feathers, so it's gonna be really comfortable and really warm, and I'm excited about that. And here is the sleeping bag in the sleeping bag carry case. You can see there's some nice orange straps holding it all together. So we'll undo these orange straps, revealing the lid here. It's like a nice water protecting lid. There's a drawstring there. We're gonna untie the drawstring. And I think we got the sleeping bag right here. So we're gonna set the manual down and the sleeping bag down. Now do check the manual for cleaning, drying, and storing recommendations as once you use the sleeping bag, if it gets wet, you'll wanna turn it inside out and dry it. If you do end up washing it, you'll wanna hang it on a hanger on the line fully open. So just check this manual for all you need to know about how to care for and use this sleeping bag. Now there is a second like drawstring kind of mesh pouch in here, which is really nice. And here is the sleeping bag. It's nice black with an orange color and a gray on the inside. There's a zipper and a Velcro spot here to open it up. You can see the gray. There's a nice storage pouch on the inside and a nice padded spot that goes over your neck to keep the air nice and insulated on the inside of the bag. Now, because it's down since it was wrapped up for a while, you do wanna let these sit for a little bit to allow them to expand to full size to get the best use and warmth out of them. If they're compressed when you use them, they're not gonna be as warm as they're rated. So you do wanna let it sit out to rise and get the full benefit of the sleeping bag. Now they do specifically say that you don't wanna store this bag for a long time wrapped in its compression sack. If you're camping, if you're traveling, fine, put it in the sack, but if you're storing it for the winter or long term when you're not using it, you do wanna hang it up by a hanger. There are some straps on the bottom of the sleeping bag to allow you to hang it upside down by a hanger. This is really important so that the down isn't over compressed, losing the warmth and efficiency of the sleeping bag, and so that it's not allowed to mildew or mold if there's any moisture that gets in there while it's all wrapped up. So cleaning it properly, drying it properly, hanging it upside down out of its sack when it's not in use will ensure a great sleeping bag for a long time and lots of enjoyment out of this product. Anyway, if you're looking for a sleeping bag, I think this Dinelli Down sleeping bag is a solid choice. I really enjoy mine and I hope this helped your purchase decision. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.